Two Broke Rednecks present... Is it safe for this kid to be walking around without a helmet? Realtors trying to hide the haunted sun. The title alone tells me this is going to be nightmare fuel. Yeah, the rest can suck it. Ah! Kill it! Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire now! You think the realtor would be forced to disclose things like houses infested with a giant raccoon? Well, Jackie, what do you think? This nice new house. Would you like to live here? Sure, Dad. As long as there are no giant raccoons. The down by the schoolyard. It's only a short distance away from here. That's great. If you're very careful, you can drive your bike or walk to school from here. Or better yet, attend my church, you godless heathen. You'd better stick around here until your father and I have a chance to teach you a few things about walking safety and bicycle safety. And how not to use them. Oh, Mom, nothing's gonna happen to me. What's so different about this neighborhood? Well, time to move. Places infested with giant raccoons. He's doing a mating dance. Kid, unless you're prepared to get raped, I wouldn't dance with a giant raccoon. Furries do weird dances. The animal comes with the house? Eh, a good exterminator can get rid of him for you. Probably strayed from a circus, but he's terrific with kids. If you want to fill their lives with pants shitting terror. Not really. I've been around for about eight years now. Someone get this kid a helmet and a plate of crayons. And we thought you were an ergot-induced mass hallucination. Could follow the yellow brick road. That explains it. They're in Oz. To the school, we have to cross that street. Or you can stand in the middle of it and become roadkill like my cousin Randy. Your mother's right. Always cross the street in marked crosswalks or at street corners only. Unless you're a raccoon like me, then you can cross that bitch wherever you want. This looks like a job for school patrol. Is the whole damn town raccoons? So the raccoon cop not only directs traffic, but teaches spelling too. Not in the street. Before leaving the curb, be sure the way is clear. I can't because your fat ass is in the way. Watch for turning cars. When you do Mommy, cross, make the giant raccoon go away. Stay alert for cars, which may suddenly Yep, whole town's raccoons. Watch how you walk if the pavement's wet or uneven. Or if you're really drunk or stoned. Say, what do I do if it's raining? You get your ass wet, you dipshit. Or a six foot raccoon. I'm a raccoon with two C's and two O's. You're also a grammar Nazi. It's raining raccoons. Hallelujah, it's raining raccoons. Stay alert. Watch out for traffic. Well, what if I'm walking across the street? And I suddenly see my old pal Larry. Well, son, what did we tell you about talking to your hallucinations? No, son, that's not the way to do it. Always walk directly across the street. Don't waste time talking or waving or anything else that'll slow you down. That's Put right, knees to chest. And on the curb. Got another problem, Mom. Suppose this bear over here and I are playing ball. Kid, we don't want to hear about you playing with the raccoon's balls. That's raccoon, kid. But most raccoon, raccoons aren't bear, six feet tall. Bear, raccoon. You think you got it? Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, the giant raccoon's about to beat the family to death and the film will end! Damn it! If we're lucky, the kid will get run over. When did this become duck and cover? That's especially dangerous, Jackie. You should try it till you run over and we're free of you. The streets or roadways while you're playing. Only after you've made sure it's safe should you go into the street after balls, pets, or anything else. Best thing is to play away from the street. So the goal of this film was to make right your kids now, pussies. You're with your family, who are always concerned about you. 
But be especially careful when you're walking with a group. Because one of them's bound to be an asshole. Watch out for your safety. Don't depend on others. Remember, every man for themselves. I'm gonna have nightmares about this. Thanks, Dad. Wait up, the raccoon stopped at the tree to pee. Stop! Here's a driveway. Always watch for cars backing out. After the film, Ricky Raccoon went back to his old job as a male prostitute. Mary, do you think you can stop your brother from wearing the raccoon suit when we go out? Another intersection, but this one's different. There's a traffic light. No, like this is stop sign, you moron. No, the, the top means stop. Green for go at the bottom when it's safe. Yellow is a warning. It's that way for cars and for us walkers. Here's a special danger. At many intersections, cars may keep moving past a red light after stopping if they are turning to the right. Or the driver's just an asshole. Pedestrians have to take even greater care. The car should stop for you, but look out. Little people are sometimes hard to see. Which is why they're worth more points. I hope no one sees me walking with a giant raccoon. He's presenting. over like that. Does your back hurt? No, Mom, it's that sign. It says stoop. I'm stooping. Because no, you're stupid. Not stoop. Stop. It's very important to know your street signs. They're and street how to steal and them. A red sign means stop. Or Can not the film stop. obey the sign and like stop here? A yellow sign is a warning. Like what this film needs. Black I've never made it to the town of speed limit, been as close as five miles, but never reached it. I loved minute work in the 80s. Road work ahead. Service signs like those telling us hospitals and telephones are Is the telephone in the middle of the road? Recreation and scenic areas have brown signs. I thought brown sign meant you had to go to Watch the bathroom. Out. That's what the diamond shaped sign says to us. It's a warning. Again, this film should come with a warning. Yeah, like nightmare fuel ahead. gives us traffic information. This kind of rectangular sign contains information on where to go. Make it to this film leader sign that says go to hell. Uh, a train bear is coming? It is impossible for this kid to be any more of an a idiot. A train, maybe. Railroad crossing signs are circles. Oh shit, the commander canceled R&R. &R. Riding that train, high I'm on cocaine. Raccoon. Ricky Raccoon, you better watch your speed. School sign is five-sided. It lets you know there's a school up ahead. And here we are, Jackie. Thank you, Last. Captain Obvious. So what happens when I go back home? And it's dark. The best clothes to wear at night are ones that are white. Like this sheet and burning cross. Carry something white. And don't forget the hood. Light in color. Or something that reflects light. Unless you're a minority. Dress as dark or as you can so no one can see you. So people driving cars will see you. Great, you lost all that stuff. We're so boned. And when you cross the street, cross where there are street lights. So Making it easier to rack up points. Day or night, if you come up on an area where there is no sidewalk, walk on the left side of the road. Or better yet, in the middle of the road so we can be free of your little ass. This looks like a real friendly neighborhood. Filled with rapists, murderers, drunks, prostitutes, and crackheads. Uh, did I say the wrong thing? Oh man, the cameraman yeah. fell out drunk. Jackie, there are a lot of lonely people who sometimes look for young people like you to be their friend. But they really want to act out but a Sid Davis film. Nice. They may even try to hurt children. So you must never accept Did he just use I got some candy little girl cliche? Even if he or she offers you candy or says your father or mother said you should ride with them. No I got a pants puppy. Even if they say you said it was okay? You know we wouldn't ask anyone to pick you up without telling you first. You remember that? We no, remember he's that. too stupid. <laughs> of course you could drive your bicycle home, Jackie. 
Oh, we didn't get this dumbass a bicycle. <laughs> Worst biker gang ever. Have you checked over your bike, Jackie? I just got it, so I've not really had time. Well, first get a bike that fits you. Be sure you have your bike in good shape. Looks good not enough for me. Let's go. Especially the brakes. Have a horn or a bell, a basket to carry small things, a light on the front and rear, and reflectors all around. Okay. Which your bike has none of these. You should have your parents' permission before you drive your bike in the street. When you do, Jackie... Because they can tell you where the high traffic the areas traffic are so you can be a road hazard. Gee, you'd think I was driving a car. Lots of things to think about. Which I'll go over your head because you're a dipshit. You probably will drive a car, Jackie. But we hope Having not. Bike the right way will make it easier to drive a car. Until then... You're going to be out there on the street with the cars, and they are bigger than you are. And their drivers hate bicyclists. Drive your bicycle on the right with the traffic. To slow drive people down. Remember, walk on the left, bike on the right. He'll never remember that because he's a dumbass. Make sure you go directly to or from home by the designated safe way to go. Someone call the fashion Don't police on this woman, please. In wooded areas or unfamiliar places. The National Safety Council. Screw the National Safety Council. At intersections, so be especially careful here. Cross with care. Get off your bike and walk it across using the crosswalks. And yell at other pedestrians, move, bitch, out the way, out the way. Maybe I'll notice my old pal Susie Parker after school waiting for a ride home. So maybe I'll be thoughtful and give her a ride home on the back of my bike. Or better yet, run her down with it. That's the way boys and girls hurt themselves. Your bicycle was built to carry only you. Only you, you can make this world seem right. Up, like this, means you're turning right. Out, like this, means you're turning left. Down, like this, shows you're stopping or slowing down. And holding your middle finger up like there this shows drivers what you think about them. Bike. Look out for car doors opening into you. Oh or great, my dementia's acting up. I'm seeing a giant raccoon Watch on a bike. Grapes, soft shoulders, and other road problems. They could throw you off your And bike. remember, park in the middle of the road like we're doing now. So many things to think about. This Maybe feeble mind can't take it. Or I could ride a bus. It will be the, the short right? one. You're important, Jackie. We want you alive and healthy. Until we <laughs> sacrifice you to Satan. Valuable rules to remember. Like waiting on the curb or in a safety zone. Sure and always talk to the ghost girl on the bus. The street after getting off the school bus. Walk about 12 feet ahead of the bus and look at the driver. This way he can see you flip him off. You know you are where he can see you. Then cross the street. Always looking both ways before going to the other side. Even if the school bus lights are flashing and the stop sign is out? Yes. Always look both ways to be sure the street is safe. Because some people, like Sid Davis, hate kids. If you're in a carpool, always bring a flotation a device. Side. Once in the car, fasten your seatbelt. Unless you're in the very back of the station wagon, then prepare to die. A lot of these rules are just good old common sense, Jackie. Which he has none. Go into the street. Think before you get on your bike. Think and don't accept a ride with a stranger. What's wrong? My mange is I acting up. Of something. I'd better go home. I haven't been home in days, I'll bet. Where exactly is home? The Who bowels of hell. Raccoon Rodeo. Come visit me sometime. We will, but how will we know you? Duh, I'm and the six foot raccoon. I'm the only bear in the whole act. Ricky Raccoon is from the Isle of Misfit Mascots commune. Thankfully this is over. Now to get the brain bleach. Dear Park Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better.